Hey guys, Matt here for the second to last day in Mulholland Drive week, if you will. So I will of course be reviewing the movie Mulholland Drive. Little history on me and the movie Mulholland Drive, when it first came out on media, uh, and I say that because I didn't get it on DVD, I rented it on VHS when it first came out, because I remember it was a new release. So I don't know if it came out in 2001 or 2002, probably somewhere, sometime around then. It took them a while to come out to uh, home video. Uh, back in the day, so I'm not sure when it came out, but I would have probably been about a sophomore or junior in high school at that time, which was quite a long time ago. Anyway, so that's when I first saw it, and um, I liked it back then for a couple of different reasons. Um, lesbian sex, like Cody said, nudities, um, and I actually did enjoy the story as well. I liked all the funny parts that were in it, the comedic parts, um, uh, and just the overall weirdness of the film. And back then I had not seen any of David Lynch's movies or knew who he was at all. So that's back, back when I didn't care about who was behind the scenes, you know, I just cared about who was in front of the scenes, I guess you could say. Um, so anyway, I rented it and I watched it and I actually enjoyed it and liked it back then. Um, I didn't really care too much to interpret the story back then. I, it was just kind of like a, oh, okay, this movie is kind of cool, on to the next thing. I did slight interpretation, but nothing like deep and in-depth or anything. And I really won't, uh, probably due to time constraints, I won't get in-depth uh, on this video as well. I actually just finished Mulholland Drive right now. I like doing that. Uh, sometimes I watch it a couple days and then do the review and just like kind of like not say what I wanted to say. So it's fresh in my mind and so I can get on with the review now, I guess. Like I said, David Lynch, so it's going to be kind of weird because uh, I just watched Eraserhead, um, as you all know, most of you would probably know, and you can check out uh, the podcast we did on that. Link will be in the side. Oh, yeah, I slipped that in there, didn't I? Anyway, so let's talk about Mulholland Drive, though. It's about a lady who gets in a car accident and walks um, up in the Hollywood Hills and walks down into the city um, and basically finds her way into an um, apartment that these people had just left. And that's when it shows Naomi, Naomi Watts, who has come to Los Angeles to become an actress and is staying in her aunt's house, which happen, or apartment, which happens to be the exact apartment that, that uh, the woman in the car wreck um, snuck into. And that's how they meet, and then they basically go on this little adventure type thing, uh, mystery deal, of because she has amnesia apparently, and they have to find out who she is, and all sorts of stuff, while other little snippets of story happen around us that... Um, aren't you don't really know what's happening around them, but you hope sooner or later they'll get linked together to make some sort of sense. So that's basically as much as I can give you on the plot. Um, now, as far as my interpretation goes, I mean, let me start off by saying the actor, actresses and actors in this were all fine. Um, Naomi Watts and Laura Herring, I think, believe is her name, both hot and very cool. I like them as an act, as actresses. Um, especially the Naomi Watts scene where she plays an actor. Obviously, she plays an actress in the movie, and she goes to an audition. I really liked that little segment um, segment of the film where she auditions, and I thought she did a really good job on that. So that's all good in there. So you know that helps out the uh, story and me liking the movie a little bit more. Let's just go ahead and give it a rating right now before I get into any more. I probably will give this about a seven out of ten or seven point five out of ten. Anyway, so I mean if. You, <laughs> I mean, I don't know if through this interpretation I'm if I'm going to spoil the movie. So if anybody wants to see it or hasn't or uh, hasn't seen it yet and will probably see it or is interested in it, uh, you might want to you know be careful. I might spoil something by accident. But here's my interpretation of what I thought really. Um, I believe the whole first half of the movie was uh, the dream world or a dream, if you will, kind of kind of fantasy in her mind deal. And the latter half of the movie was the real. Um, happenings or the real goings on that happened in the real life and uh, you know I'm just I'm totally watering this down you know because of time constraints I don't even sh I can't see the timer so you know that's that sucks but um and uh, so yeah the first half of the movie to me was a dream and the second half was what really happened in um, real life like the party and all that like really went down and and she really had at once time had a relationship with the other girl and uh, she, the other girl, uh, Laura Herring, I can't remember, Rita, I guess, or whatever her name ended up being, um, uh, you know, moved on and went to the uh, producer or director guy, whoever that douchebag was. And, um, and, uh, all the, and then, you know, at that point, it was kind of like, 
an emotional and traumatic moment, and that's when she decided to, you know, get the hit, if you will, or whatnot, and uh, so, like, in her mind, she had a mental picture of that part, because I guess she was so pissed off, now this is just what I'm saying here, I'm probably wrong, and, but that's just how I feel, and so, uh, you know, she, she doesn't really know uh, those people very well, but, you know, when she's dreaming or in the dream world, you know, those characters, uh, she fleshes out their story on her own and, and throws in the people she maybe even met just for a split second into, uh, you know, this fantasy story type deal. So, you know, that was just a watered down version because, you know, I don't have all the time in the world to explain it and I don't want to make this two parts because no one else did. Probably other people like Boomstick, Please, or Josh, you know, they probably you know, are well-versed in saying uh, what they want to say and get it done in time, but I'm not. But anyway, I, I just love the, I like the film overall. It was, it was great. But also, I liked Eraserhead, so a lot of other people didn't like that one. Um, so yeah, like I said, a 7 out of 10 I give this. And um, yeah, the lesbian sex scenes helped out for sure, but you know, I'm a little bit older now, so that helps out a little bit, but I know that's not everything, and I like the story as well. Um, so... That was my review, I guess, if you could call it that, or interpretation of the film itself. You know, there's a bunch of funny parts. I love, like, uh, other people, um, I think, I wa the only uh, review I watched of uh, this one, because I didn't want to be, you know, swayed either way, was Cody's, and I accidentally did that. Uh, so, you know, I, I planned not to watch anybody's, but I accidentally watched Cody's because I was just clicking through my subscriptions. But anyway... Uh, I love the part uh, where uh, Billy Ray Cyrus <laughs> is the pool guy um, and that whole scenario that went down uh, right there. I also really like that part where the guy uh, breaks in for the black book. He, he breaks, in, breaks into that like a like rundown um, apartment building for like businesses that have just started up, or whatever. And he accidentally shoots that fat, fat lady through the um, through the wall. I thought I just I just laughed so much at that part. <laughs> anyway, so. You know, I definitely recommend checking this out. Uh, definitely rent it, though, you know what I'm saying, in case, you know, y it's probably hit or miss with some people and, and whatnot. So that was just my watered-down interpretation of the movie New Holland Drive from David Lynch. So uh, I'm sure we'd be doing, uh, we've been discussing doing theme weeks, like every other week or something, for a little bit or whatever, but there will be more theme weeks to come. So this has been the DVD Update. Matt, and I will see you next time. See you when I see it. Peace.